everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Srimanthi and I'm currently working as an ML engineer. Ah, the life of a new machine learning engineer. You've just landed your first job or maybe you're working on your first big project. You're pumped, you're caffeinated and you're ready to change the world with AI. But then this happens. Your model doesn't work. Your boss is asking for results and you're sitting there wondering why, why on earth did I even choose this career? Don't worry, we've all been there. In fact, making mistakes is part of the journey. But today, I am here to save you some pain by walking you through the top five mistakes new ML engineers make. And more importantly, how to avoid them. So grab your coffee, your notebook, and let's dive right in. We all know, right, the steps that we use for training a model. Download data set. Train our neural network. Profit, right? Wrong. If it was this easy, then everyone would have done it, right? This is one of the biggest mistakes I see new ML engineers make. They're so excited to play with TensorFlow or PyTorch that they skip the most important step, understanding the problem that they're trying to solve. Here's the thing, machine learning is not magic, it's a tool. And if you don't deeply understand the problem, you're just throwing algorithms at data and hoping for the best results. Spoiler alert, that never works. Let me give you an example. Imagine you're building a model to predict house prices. If you don't understand the domain, like how location, square footage, and market trends affect prices, you might end up with a model that is, well, technically accurate, but completely useless in the real world. So how do you avoid this mistake? Here's what you do. Spend time understanding the problem. Talk to domain experts. Define clear objectives. Communicate with your manager. What does success look like? Think about the data you will need and whether it actually represents the problem or not. Clean the data. Do some feature engineering. Do some feature breakdown and try to understand the entire problem thoroughly. Remember, a well-defined problem is half the solution. Never ever skip this step. Now, data, well, the lifeblood of machine learning and also the bane of every ML engineer's existence. Here's the harsh truth. Most of your time as an ML engineer won't be spent training fancy models. It will be spent cleaning, wrangling, and understanding your data. If you skip this step, your model is doomed from the start. Do remember, data cleaning is much more important than model training. Garbage in, garbage out. If your data is bad, your model will be bad period. Now comes the next thing. Wow, look at that training accuracy. 99%. You're a genius. Oh, wait. Your test accuracy is 50%. But never mind. This is what we call overfitting. It's when your model learns the training data so well that it fails to generalize to new data. And trust me, every new ML engineer, including myself, has fallen into this trap. Overfitting happens when your model is too complex for the amount of data you have. It's like trying to fit a 10th degree polynomial to a straight line. Sure, it'll fit the training data perfectly, but it'll fail miserably on new data. So how do you avoid overfitting? Here are some tips. Use a validation set to monitor your model's performance during training. Regularize your model using techniques like L1, L2 regularization, or dropout. And most importantly, don't make your model more complex than it needs to be. Simple models go really, really far. Remember, the goal isn't to memorize the training data. It's to generalize to new data. Generalization greater than memorization. Keep it simple. Okay, so let's talk about black box models here. They're powerful, they're cool. But they're also a huge problem if you can't explain how they work. Imagine you're working on a healthcare project and your model predicts that the patient has a high risk of heart disease. If you can't explain why the model made that prediction, how do you expect doctors to trust you? Here's the thing. Interpretability is just as important as accuracy, especially in high stakes applications like healthcare, finance, or law. And 2025 is the year of AI in healthcare. Everybody is just hustling to get there. And yet so many new ML engineers completely ignore it. So how do you make your models more interpretable? Use 
simpler models like regression, decision trees whenever possible. If you're using complex models, use tools like SHAP or LIME to explain their predictions. And always, always document your work so that others can understand it. Remember, a model that no one trusts is a model that no one uses. Usability is so important. Congratulations, you have trained the perfect model. It's accurate. It's interpretable. But it's sitting on your laptop doing absolutely nothing. This is the final mistake we're going to talk about. Forgetting to think about deployment. Because let's be real. If your model never makes it to production, what's the point of doing all this? Here's the thing. Deployment is a whole different ball game altogether. It's not just about writing good code. It's about scalability monitoring and making sure your model performs well in the real world. So how do you avoid these mistakes? Learn about tools like Docker, Kubernetes, and cloud platforms like AWS, GCP. Think about how you will monitor your model's performance after deployment. I have one of my models which I have deployed and it's there in description. You can see it also right here. And always test your model in a real world environment before going live. Remember, training the model is just the beginning. Deployment is where the real impact happens. All right, let's recap the top five mistakes new ML engineers make. Jumping straight to the model without understanding the problem. Ignoring data quality. Overfitting the model. Neglecting model interpretability. And forgetting to think about deployment. I know, I know, making mistakes is part of the learning process. But if you can avoid these five, you'll be way ahead of the game. So go out there, build amazing models, and don't forget to have fun along the way. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And let me know in the comments, what's the biggest mistake you've made as an ML engineer? I'd love to hear your stories.